breaking right now. It's the stuff of Hollywood movie plots and jokes saving humanity from an asteroid hurtling towards Earth. Right now, a NASA spacecraft is about to test if that's possible or still science fiction. It is on a collision course with an asteroid 7 million miles from Earth, and we are waiting for impact, which we understand is just about one minute from right now. Just to get you oriented here, there are actually two asteroids. And Erica, I'm not a rocket scientist, but I believe the, the bigger one you see there is not the one they're trying to hit. It's the smaller oh moon that, that um, is actually um, yeah. orbiting. The bigger one is called Didymos, Looks and like the smaller one is Dimorphos. In. Yeah, so the small one's about, if you picture it, 525 feet wide. The larger one, Didymorphos, is about 2,500 feet wide. And one of, one of the experts oh, wow. was saying, look at it this way. Oh, is it hitting? Oh, I hear the countdown. Yeah. Seven, oh, six, wow. five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Awaiting visual confirmation. Well, based on the reaction, they All hit it. Right. Um, but they are waiting for visual confirmation, as you just heard there. Yeah, they did mention that it will take some time before they actually have visual confirmation and then are able to later measure to see how much of it was hit. The whole goal, they call this planetary defense. So this is just a test. We're not in any danger. Mm -hmm. But by testing this out and seeing if they can shift it, not completely blow it up like you hear in the movies. They say that's not what they want to accomplish. If they could just hit it enough to knock it a little bit off course, could that stop it from then hitting what would have been its intended target. And what I was saying before, Joe, is they say think of it as a vending machine hitting the Statue of Liberty, just to give you an idea of the size there. Right, the differences. Yeah, yeah the difference. Now, and there was a camera on board that spacecraft that hit it. That was the image we were seeing. Mm -hmm. It was releasing an image per second and then up until impact. But the interesting thing is they did have a satellite that released a second camera and that was like a month or so ago. So it's sort of on the way behind trailing it. And that was supposed to capture the actual collision. So as you point out, we'll get much more uh, over the next coming days and weeks of this. But well, wow, it looks like they're celebrating. Yeah, it, it's really pretty cool to hear them get so excited. Yeah. The experts that actually understand it in the most technical right. details. But of course, we'll bring you more as we learn more about what they've done. I have a hard time changing a tire. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, how they figure this stuff out. In uh, space I called just, and changed the tires. <laughs> <laughs> That's too.